David Allen, the world authority on productivity and the creator of the amazing getting things done. What a privilege and what an honor, sir, to have you visit our center. Thanks for the invitation, Rodney. Um, so we are building a community of business owners, helping them to support each other to grow because it's, it gets lonely at the top. And uh, as people start engaging, you know, the, the operating principle that you discovered and which you have shared so eloquently is that the mind is not designed to store things, it's designed to process things. So what we are doing here is we are, we are creating the conditions for the business owners in small groups to unpack what's going on in their mind into a safe conversation. And when they unpack into the safe conversation, now themselves and the other people around them now have access and they can process what they're doing. So with the result that, you know, the last 5% of whatever it is that they can't really share, and that's why the experience is lonely at the top, they're now able to, to share with people and kind of reach a place where they're becoming more and more present to what the opportunities are, the threats are, the resources, strengths, weaknesses, and take those calls. Now, from your whole experience, David, if you can just kind of share, you know, the background and what, what would really kind of take this to the next level for all of us. Sure. Well, you know, years ago, I discovered the strategic value of clear space. Right. Um, if there's no distraction and you're present with whatever it is you're doing, you'll do it better, more elegantly, more creatively. Uh, so the whole idea of being able to externalize your thinking uh, is a first step. And so uh, wonderful that you've created an environment where people can start to identify what has their attention. See, if I walked into a group, I would just say, uh, you know, who's got their at attention on something? And once you identify what that is, there are two or three other steps that you need to go through. Once you identify what has your attention, then there is a clarification process that needs to happen, which is, okay, how would I get that off my mind? So my challenging question to all of your business owners would be, what's on your mind? What do you need to do to get it off your mind? Because there's an inverse relationship between on your mind and getting done. Right. So you can pretty much bet the most productive people are the people with the clearest heads. That, and so the way you get a clear head is not by meditating or drinking. I mean, those, those, are, those do what they do. But they don't really get something that you've got attention on off your mind and get it appropriately engaged. See, getting things done is not as much about getting things done as it's about being appropriately engaged with your life. Are you appropriately engaged with your business? Are you appropriately engaged with your family? Are you appropriately engaged with your dog? Are you appropriately engaged with your health? What does appropriate engagement mean? It means I've identified something that may be not on cruise control or not on automatic, and I've determined what's the desired outcome that I'm committed to achieve or accomplish or experience, and how would I start moving toward that? How would I start to engage toward that appropriately? So you don't actually need to finish what has your attention to get it off your mind and to get clear, but you do need to identify it, clarify it, desired outcomes, define next action steps, and then park those reminders in some trusted place that you will see at the right time. That actually is what gets it off your mind. So that's kind of the long short story of what I spent the last 35 years sort of uncovering and, and defining and, um, and then helping thousands of people implement that, which is that algorithm. What's got my attention, desired outcome, next action, trusted system, park it. And then engage with that in some appropriate way. That then frees you up to be a lot more creative, strategic, loving, present, whatever it is that you want. It's really about creating space. You know, in, in a certain sense, this sounds a little counterintuitive because um, productivity and producing results kind of has a connotation of I've got to be really focused, 
I've got to have a lot of things, my projects, my priorities, all of that. And uh, the more concentrated and focused I am, kind of suggests to me that I'm, I'm really engaged in something very creative versus what you're offering is for you to become productive, get to a place where all of that is parked in whatever appropriate way so that you can then deal with what needs to be dealt with in the moment in a relaxed, with a more sort of focused way. Exactly. Well, you do need to be able to concentrate and to focus because I'm not talking about some sort of lazy back, yeah. you know, not do right. doing anything. I need to be able to focus, but to your point, and to the point of this methodology, it's a lot easier for me to put the kind of focus I need on my budget, on my hiring, on my uh, uh, business plan, on my whatever it is, as long as I can park everything else in uh, some appropriate place. Not only that, uh, your ability to concentrate is gonna to a large degree be based upon your ability to relax. And new science, new cognitive research is basically, if you're not taking a nap every afternoon, at least 20 minutes, if not 90 minutes, uh, you're probably not going to optimize your cognitive ability. If you're not getting at least eight to nine hours of sleep a night, your, your brain is not refreshing itself appropriately. And so you need to be able to then stop at any point in time and do nothing. And your ability to actually do nothing is to a large degree uh, you know, how mature you are with this methodology. It doesn't mean you're not doing anything. It means that doing nothing like that allows the brain to reintegrate and adjust. That's why sleeping on something oftentimes gives you the solution in the morning because sleeping on it is the, the best way to stop that kind of concentration and let the brain do its work. So there's a lot of new cognitive science that's basically validated what I've figured out 30 years ago. And just, you know, I just learned it on the street. I learned, you know, that how powerful this really was to be able to have a quiet mind so that you could then focus it, you know, appropriately.